Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another stream. This is the Count of Monte Fisto. I'm having trouble with the volume slider here. Oh god, what's up perfect? There we are, that's good, that's good. Anyway, what's up? Hopefully everyone's doing good. It's a uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, so that's gonna be a three day weekend. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna stream a bunch. Hit the gym up. Uh, just hang out with my dog. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds like a good time to me. I don't know about you motherfuckers. Anyway, what's up, Lady Justice? Just checking out uh, potatoes, raspberries she's growing. Word up, I'm glad that shit's growing. Yeah, I've uh, taken my dog out. You know that um, the heat's really kicking in. Every everything outside is going ape shit in terms of uh, plant growth. It's uh, very nice. Although I am, like, dropping a whole metric fuck ton of anti-allergy bills. Anyway, uh, yeah, right now we're still listening to relaxing PS1 music, slowly working through this playlist at the start of each stream. Right now we're only about, like, halfway through it. It's like four and a half hours long. This is medieval. Anyway, um, speaking of just going through shit, we are almost done to Earthbound. I think this might be only, like, two or three more streams left of this. We're, uh, we're getting close. I think I might finish it this weekend, honestly. Anyway, without further ado, let's go. Let's do this shit. There we go. Yeah, I saw the uh, the Pixel Remastered version that uh, Square re-released of Final Fantasy VI, and that intro crawl. The ground is moving like fast as shit, or slow as shit, I forget which one. Uh, either way, it looked really, really, really off, which... I don't know. <sighs> like, does it look like a better Final Fantasy VI version some, than some of the other versions they re-released? Sure. But, like, they... I, I don't know, man. It's like, uh... When it comes to Square re-releasing their old games, it's kind of like George Lucas. Or, I guess, now Disney. Trying to re-release Star Wars every single time. It's like, yeah, like... The picture looks nicer, and the audio is cleaner, and that's really cool. But you keep fucking up in new and weird ways. I don't know, man. I, I, Square, Square fucking baffles the mind. I bitch about them enough, though. Let's, uh, let's go into Earthbound. Where are you? Where are you? I passed it. Goddamn. Woo! Anyway, Lady Justice, uh, you got you got any plans for the for the weekend? I mean, I don't know uh, who the fuck even celebrates Memorial Day. Memorial Day is just a day where we get to have a three-day weekend. That's just really all it is. I don't think anyone gives a shit. Oh, what's up, Fallen One? Oh, God, my fucking cord is all fucked up. Hold well, up, I'm gonna have to figure that out real quick. Yeah, and what are, uh, what are you doing this weekend, Fallen One? What kind of what kind of shit are you up to? Once again, I'm just gonna be playing games, going to the gym, taking care of my dog, and I uh, can't really complain about that. Sounds like a good time to me. Alright, let's uh, fucking go into this thing. <laughs> yeah, I think um yeah, like we're close to the end. Shockingly close. So, oh shit, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, well, here, here's our fucking pizza. Yeah, thank you. God damn. Don't let me rest a minute before I fucking think. Um, so let's see. We have the magic truffle, which uh, fills up a bunch of pee pee, which is good and all. Damn, we're actually practically full on shit. Um, do I want. No, we, we want to give a large pizza to dump. There we go. So last time we kind of went on a long-ass trek. We finally got to the uh, deep darkness. I forget what these guys are called. Let's read the sign outside. There is no sign outside. Fuck. <laughs> what, what is this place called? Is this part of the deep darkness? Or are these like... I don't know. There's, there's a bunch of these motherfuckers that like migrated through the deep darkness, like, you know, past the waters, through the dino fucking land, through, uh, fucking the swamps years ago, and I've just been living here forever. Um, this is the next My Sanctuary location, but all of them are very, very shy, which sucks, because the only one who's not shy is this asshole over here, who tells me about moving this rock to get to the next My Sanctuary location. 
He tells us about a book of how to cure shyness. We hear that the Apple Kid has it. We go to find the Apple Kid. The Apple Kid has been kidnapped by aliens. We just fought our way through the alien base, and then Apple Kid's like, Oh yeah, I turned that back in the library. So now we have the book. Which is cool. But, uh, I forget. Who the fuck am I talking to with the book? Uh, let's see, and then there's me, who's not American. I don't know, you can celebrate Memorial Day, just don't go don't go to work on Monday. <laughs> that's, just, that's how you celebrate Memorial Day, Lady Justice, is you just, you just don't fucking work. Um, anyway, let's try to find this book. Uh, let's see, celebrating Memorial Day, which is reasonable because I'm a military vet, and Memorial's all about remembering deceased military. But most don't have or don't know military people, so don't care. Oh, I got you. Well, I mean, a lot of people have family members who are in the military, especially, like, grandparents and shit. But, like, I don't know. I just appreciate the day off. That's really all I care about. Um, where the fuck is my book? Yeah, there we are. Jesus. Hold up, I need to, <laughs> I need to put on my glasses. It's probably part of the fucking reason. So who am I talking to about this? Oh, yeah, Tenda. Okay. So there's dinosaurs under this rock. The guy next to me is strong, but he lacks conversational skills. Yeah, but like, what do I do with this? Uh... I can't just like, give it to this guy? Okay, well, uh, that's, that's an issue. Alright, so, um, we have the book. But we don't know what exactly we're supposed to do here. Oh, does this become an item shop after I cure their shyness? Maybe I have to give the book to this asshole who talks about the book. Well, we'll figure this shit out. We still have that bag of Dragonite so we can slap at least one boss's ass. Book can fix shyness. Thanks, relax. I'll read to everyone. Oh, just holding this book in my hands makes me feel like I'm overcoming my shyness already. I'll really take time to read it to everyone. Alright, uh, progress. We're getting there. The leader of the Tenda tribe read Overcoming Shyness to everyone. Chat, chat, whisper, whisper. I'd like to give you some tender kraut, tender kraut in return. All right, so Zed German. Tender kraut is a type of dish that all tender like. It stinks, but it tastes wonderful. Mr. Lens, the leader of the tender tribe, the book Overcoming Shyness. Well, that's nice of him. Also, I might want to call my sister and like, oh, God damn it. Oh, man. Like, the game just doesn't even let me forget about this asshole. It was cute the first like 20 times. The next uh, 80 times. It's 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 a little it's a little much. A little, little much. All right, photograph man, go the fuck back up to the sky. Hey you, I have a happy little question for you. <laughs> They're now Bob Ross. I have a happy little question for you. Count of Monte Fisto. Count of Monte Fisto. Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right. You can change it. No, this this is my this is me. I'm Count of Monte Fisto. Fuck you. <laughs> you just got... What's up, Pickle? Shalom. Today, your asshole is mine. Thank you, Pickle. I feel loved. What have you been up to, Pickle? It's been a bit. Count of Monte Fisto, are you sure that's what you want? Are you happy with the name? Yes. Are you absolutely certain? Yes. Yeah, I thought you had made up your mind. Okay. Once again, I feel like all the pictures and the name and all that shit's gonna come into play at the very end. As we overcame our shyness, I'll give you another bag of Dragonite. Jesus Christ, dude. Thought he got a bag of Dragonite. So long. I say goodbye. This shit's like really fucking powerful. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Ooh, slow down. I'm a woman. Did you think I was a man? Well, this current year, motherfucker. Um, welcome to this far. Take rest. Long journey must have been. Long journey must have been. <laughs> They're Yoda. Well, if I, I gotta call my sister and get this shit out of my inventory. Yeah, Pickle, what have you, what have you been playing recently? Let, let me know. Same old, same old with uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2. This Cargo Express. Uh, Pickup, yes. I also I should look at delivery to see what she's got in storage, just because like, we're getting close to the end of the game. I need to 
been talking to this guy? God, my, my, my memory is so fucking bad. Uh, Alright, let's see what we can uh, get the fuck out of our inventory. Um... Oh, did I already get rid of the, uh, the... Oh, man, I must have done this shit a little bit last time. I think I am gonna get rid of the Casey bat. Because, I mean, it's just, You can't hit with it. You can't fucking hit with the thing. So what's the point? Beaver phone, town map... That's all fine. Um, neutralizer. Doesn't that just negate everything? That might actually be good for, like, the end boss, right? To negate their shit, but that would also negate my buffs. Um, I'll hold on to it. Let's get rid of this hieroglyph copy. Um, we do have the monkey's love, which I think the monkey just comes over and, like, skeets on the enemy. Uh, talisman ribbon? Fuck, was that, like, worse? I want to sell that one. Counter side negates uh, enemy size attacks. Got yeah, a bunch of multi bottled rockets to really destroy some shit. I don't think we need the uh, the key to the tower anymore. And I think I'm good on the piggy nose. Casey Bad Hieroglyph. Okay, so that's three. Alright, that's fine. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, let's see, Pickle's been playing some Star Sovereign Citizen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling me about that. I'm um, still playing some Monster Hunter Stories 2 and f to finish it all over Hard Space Shipbreaker. What is Hard Space Shipbreaker? I actually don't know that one. Um, I think. Are we, uh, are we full health here? We better fucking be. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Oh wait, does this guy say anything though? I wonder. In the hole, in we have. Free stay? Oh wait, it's free anyway. We'll stay. Mengala might fix some shit. Maybe. Big maybe. Nah, no, fuck me. Hey, he's got like a fucking full symphony orchestra, but it's all broken. Got, like a harmonica and a trumpet and shit. Uh, let's have some tea. Oh shit, look, it's a, uh, yeah, so these things really are like... Like a third through the game, like two thirds through the game. Like a great tapestry, vertical and horizontal threads have met and become intertwined, creating a huge, beautiful image. Pickle says there's no such thing as free. Check your assholes and check the stitches. <laughs> we have some kidneys missing. Uh, you may have cursed this never-ending journey. You have known injury and defeat, but you have struggled on to reach this place. Your inborn intelligence and courage have helped you bring you here. You have believed in your friends, and as a group, you have supported each other. Have you ever stopped to consider how much your power has grown? Now you can fell enemies in Onnit and Tucson with one blow. Well, I could do that way fucking before, dude. As you certainly know, you cannot turn back. Gygus, the arch-fiend of the universe, is growing frightened of you and your power. He is searching for ways to end your journey. Power's over 9,000. I hope Gygus does have a scouter. From here, the challenge grows, and your adventure will take you beyond anything you ever imagined. You are drawing near to Gygus. Remember, when you are suffering hardships, your enemy is also struggling. By the way, do you, do you know where Pokey went? He's probably out getting fucked in the ass, but we did find his broken down helicopter in the swamp. When this cup of tea is finished, your adventure will continue. Your destiny pulls you in the right direction. Believe in yourself and press forward. I love how Pokey has no like motivation other than he's just an asshole. He's helping out the bad guys just to fuck with you. <laughs> that's, that's all. He's like, ah, fuck you. He's like the ultimate douchebag. He really is like an Eric Hartman. Fisto, Thadi, Mengala, Dump. I wish you luck. Which I will say does make Pokey a pretty uh, likable antagonist. Well, I guess unlikable, but memorable. I guess that's a better word. 
Because he really has nothing to do with anything. He's just he's just a cunt. Hi, how are you today? Oh, you're not feeling well? Be healthy. Alright, can I get in here? I'm not entirely sure why there's two different methods for free healing in this place. It's just get a little weird. Underground, very large area exists. Dinosaurs, big, scary. Lost underworld, a stone there is. Talks lots. Oh, is it the uh, dungeon man? Is dungeon man down there? <laughs> the coom pool. I don't know. I've never, I've never coomed pink, but maybe, maybe my diet's not good. <laughs> Maybe I need more zinc and pineapple, I don't know. <laughs> I like the horn of life. Give me horn of life, I give you something. Wait, what? Horn of life, horn of life, do I have a horn of life? Plain roll, plain yogurt, plain roll, spicy jerky, bag of dragonite. Oh, he gives me all that shit if I had the horn of life. Um, that is a lot of shit. Do I have the horn of life? I thought I, I've had one before. Did I use it? Was I supposed to, like, not use it? If that, is that something you, like, need to do if you're playing a second time? Or can I find another Horn of Life? Because I would really enjoy the probably the best bat in the game and another, uh... Does that guy have horns? Why does this guy have horns? You guys see that shit? Yeah, this guy's like a fucking devil. He's got like a devil tail and horns. No one else has a devil tail, tail and horns. Um, maybe he's like older, and that's. Uh, oh, maybe he's like, like the chief. Maybe that's why he wanted to read the uh, the book to everyone. Or maybe he's like fucking El Diablo. Uh, just gotta get some urethral trauma. <laughs> And then coom, da da, pink coom. <laughs> I like it. Um, let's see, what are we doing? Oh, we we're going to call uh, Tracy's whack ass. Um, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, the jar fly honey we could have probably used if we had it in our inventory when we fought, um,. Was it Belch became like vomit or some shit? But uh, you know, we still kicked his ass, it's fine. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so maybe we'll find another Horn of Life, or you really are supposed to just, if you play through the game a second time, then you know, okay, don't use the Horn of Life. I'm really the only thing I'm like uh, sad about not getting there is the home run or the uh, Major League bat. That, that's probably awesome. Powerful, I so show everyone. Uh, got it, got it. Nice, thank you. Recently, everyone's able to talk a lot, so I've lost my identity. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> that's kind of depressing, actually. Sorry, buddy. Alright. What is this? Good evening, I'm a talking rock. <laughs> everyone down here talks like yoga. Um... But the rocks around here don't talk too much. The rock that talks the most is deep down in the labyrinth, way ahead in the lost underworld. Don't forget to talk to the rock, it's important. Wayne Johnson is down here and he has very sensitive feelings. You have to make sure he feels loved. Gotta give him lots of love and attention. Oh shit, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of them, fuck. Hopefully they're easy. Fabi and his cohorts. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fucking sci-fire these motherfuckers. Oh, that's awesome. That's so satisfying. One-shotting everyone is awesome. Although, oh wait, two of them are alive. Now they're dead. Good. Hey, there we are. Still leveling up quite a bit. Hey, there doesn't seem to be that much of a uh, level, um, like exponential growth curve. You know what I mean? The levels there just seem consistent the whole way through, no matter how uh, powerful you get. 
which I can appreciate. You know, some games, I'm looking at you, uh, <laughs> looking at you, Fantasy Star, can take like decades between each level. Holy shit. Um, let's see. Uh. God damn, dude. Maybe that's the point of this shit? Is just to ensure that you're, uh, nice and leveled. Fancy started through all the games as a grind. Yeah. No, I'm, uh... God, what am I doing? The next RPG we're playing through after this one is gonna be Shining in the Darkness. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play the whole thing through, because that's, uh... It seems pretty grindy, but I want to at least try it, you know? Um, but then after that's Final Fantasy VI, and then after that is Fantasy Star 3, so we might be able to start on Fantasy Star 3 by the end of the year. Here we go. Level, level up is what we want to see. Okay, I, th I feel like that's the right way. Let's go down those, uh, that rope bridge we saw earlier. Rope bridge, the ladder. That's the, that's the correct word for what this is. This is a ladder. This is a ladder, guys. Um... I still laugh at that I first came across you because of your YouTube videos for the computer simulator game. Yeah, uh, which um, which one? Because there's the um, the internet simulator game, um, uh, Hypnospace Outlaw, and then there's Dum Dum, which was like a Macintosh game. Yo, know, both games I wish were better. I wish both games were better because they're both very promising. And some people online seem to really, really, really dig them, but I, I kind of had some, uh, some issues with both of them, you know what I mean? Like, like, it was like 70% of a really, really good idea, but they just needed something more to really fucking nail it. Uh, Dum Dum Devs made some fixes because of your complaints. I, I feel like you told me that. That's kind of crazy, though, honestly. I don't, I don't want to believe it. Once again, I did put up a Steam review, and I don't, um... I don't think I was that much of an asshole in the Steam review. You know, like, whenever you complain about something in a review, in written form, you sound... Like, you know, in, you know, you can't convey tone in written form, you know what I mean? So if you're criticizing something in written form, like, you can't control the way some people read it, so sometimes people read that shit and be like, Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's an asshole. So yeah, I, I hope I hope they took the uh, the criticism constructively, which it sounds like they did. But I, I always worry. Only only when I absolutely hate something, am I like, yo, I hope they read this. <laughs> no, I hate it. If I made like a written review on like Final Fantasy Thirteen, that's that's how I would uh, I would believe it. Yeah. Um, the underground talking rock seems to want to talk a lot more than I do. All right, dude. Uh, your review was based on the alpha, basically. You, after you reviewed, they made a lot of changes and then added an actual plot and all. Mm. I got you, I got you. Uh, maybe I'll check it out again at some point, then. Um, another game I, I wanted to check out after they um, switched up some things. Wait, can anyone use this super bomb? Was, uh, fucking, um, Kingsway. Kingsway got like a major update not too long ago, and I, I really enjoyed that game, but um Yeah, it's it's a bit of a time sink, but it's a really fun game. Okay, so I think anyone can use that one. I didn't see anything saying only Mangala could use it. So let's climb up here. And let's find this shit. Oh god. Oh well, experience. It's the way we gotta look at it. Um, uh, let's see... So did you play Dum Dum Fallen 1? And if you did, uh, what's, what's your thoughts on it? I'm curious. Yeah, that, I, I think... I think I put that in, like, a top conflicting game list. And I made, like, three videos, uh, last year. Around, um, New Year's. Right? On, like, the top ten, like, favorite games, I or, like, most surprising games I played. Most disappointing and, like, most conflicting. And I, I feel like I might have mentioned Dum Dum to one of them. Oh, God. Played Dum Dum after watching your, uh, 
playthrough on YouTube. Some of the puzzles were a little too difficult for me to get fully through. Yeah. And, I mean, there is an in-game hint system, I think, in the BIOS menu. So, like, when you, you open the game, it, you kind of simulate going through a BIOS, which I do think is cool, but... Yeah, it's kind of like the hint system in this game, you know what I mean? Where it's it's a very delicate balance. Where you don't want to have puzzles be too fucking easy, you know what I mean? So you want them to be just challenging enough so, so that way, you know, they kind of have to work through it, but if they get stuck, they can still figure it out, you know? It's it's hard, because, you know, when you're making the puzzles, the uh, the solution is easy to you. But then other times, when you're making puzzles, you're like, oh, this might be tricky for them, but then, you know... I mean, I guess you get a whole bunch of people to test that shit, and that's the way to uh, do it appropriately. Hey, we got Flasha Omega. Um, Thunder Omega. Okay, shit. Let's fucking look at this. Thunder and Flash Omega. Let's check this shit out. Often it'll destroy an enemy in a single strike. Jesus. High probability of destroying all enemies in a single strike. I wonder if I get experience for it, though. Sometimes they'll, like, do that shit. I think some of the Final Fantasy does that with, uh, like, the death spell. But then we have... God, he's, I forgot we have Healing Omega. Fuck. And can bring them back to life. Like, Evanescence. Got it. Okay. We have the Shield Omega. Which gives everyone thorns, I think? Yeah, this is, so this is like everyone thorns. So I have, so pretty much my option is to have, like, give everyone, uh, double defense and have, like, thorns, essentially. And then for Thadi, her shield for everyone makes it for, uh, psychic attacks. And what, what does, like, Brain Shock do? Yeah, just, like, infuse them. Got it. Yeah, Dump is an interesting, uh, hybrid character. I'll give him that much. And we have Star Storm, which is dirty. Is there gonna be a Star Storm beta and gamma? Oh, that'd be crazy. Probably is. Um, let's see. The enemy is Thunderstruck for about 200 points of damage four separate times. I gotcha. Okay, cool. And it eliminates shields. Cool, cool. Star Storm Omega. Yeah, I'm hoping I uh, get to see some crazy shit like that later on. No, Dump started off weak as shit. Damn, I am glad that he's uh, improving. So, on that first floor, there's an area north, and there is a pitfall pretty much right in the middle. Let's see if we can just kill this motherfucker in one hit. Ah, he's gonna fuck. Oh shit, look at that! Ah, oh, the dumbass. He's beating his own ass for me. Yeah, beat your ass for me, daddy. Alright, if you can just keep hitting Thotty, that'd be great. Yeah, I wish that we could, like, buy... Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Oh, and it, like, one-shots people, too. Holy shit. Oh my god. I forgot about how broken that shit is when it's used against you. Alright, we gotta watch out for that. Uh, an IQ capsule. Nice. Um, an IQ... I think gives more... Psy... Power. Psychic points. PP. When they level up. So I think I might want to give that to Fisto, because he has the worst, but... Uh, no, well, um, actually, we might want to give that shit to Dump, actually, because Dump is actually getting some really good psychic abilities. Yeah, let's, uh, give it to him. I mean, it's only by one, but, yeah, fuck it. Hey, 
Mengele lost his PP. Mengele never had PP, dude. Never had one. Oh, wait, whoa, what? What is that shit? Come on, man. You can't do that to me. Oh, wow, all the enemies disappeared. Ah, look at that. I, I diadem of kings. All right, that shit's gonna definitely be for um dump. So let's uh, give it to dump and then read what it does. Miscellaneous equipment that can only be used by dump increases defense. Yeah, so dump has no equipment at the start. He really sucks a lot of cock. And then as you uh, you know, he gets star storm and some better abilities and levels up. And you find his unique equipment. He actually gets better. Which, I mean, like, that's a pretty cool dynamic. Or, uh, I guess dynamic's not the right word. Archetype. There we are. That's the word I was looking for. Although, that was frustrating as shit. Where I'm like, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, dumb. He's awesome. He's, he's gonna be like a Kung Fu dude. He's gonna one-shot enemies for me. And then the first, like, five hours you have him, he's just <laughs> the worst dude on your team. But, uh, hey, he's getting there. Oh, look at this shit! All these dirty motherfuckers trying to assault me. Gets me a little excited! Oh hell yeah. That's, oh dude. Those critical hits, though. It's very satisfying games where critical hits aren't like 50% more damage, but like 4,000% more damage. Um, shit. Uh, no, we're gonna just take care of the conducting spirit first. Because that shit can flash my ass. And I don't want my ass to be flashed. Yeah, we gotta treat those dudes like they're fucking dangerous, because they are fucking dangerous. Damn, 28 plus HP, 10 plus PP. Oh shit, oh god damn it. Alright, here we're gonna have to be very, uh, very careful. Uh, let's try flashing them. I'm gonna try just going real hard here. I'm not, I'm not fucking around with two of these fuckers. They can, like, one-shot my dudes. Oh fuck, it didn't work! High percent chance my ass, motherfucker! Oh nice, it's really good. Ah oh, yes, that's very good, and how was it? <laughs> I should have that be a chat reward, is uh... What's his nuts freaking about? Freaking out over to the lights on the set of, uh... What was it? Terminator Salvation? Yeah, Christian Bale. Just going ape shit. Do I walk around and fuck with your lights? And <laughs> why are you fucking up on scene? Oh, you daft cunt. Uh, <laughs> strong smelling dish. Those who like it good, nuts for it. Okay, well, uh, what happens if I eat it? It smells so unbelievably bad that you could not eat it. Well, uh, shit. That sucks. Hopefully you can use it, uh, later on, then. Um, I could use... Now this is fucking... Use some life up. Um, let's see. Fisto could use a regular-ass life up. Mangala can use a regular-ass life up. That's fine. And we'll drop down that hole in a little bit. First, let's check out what's to the north. Oh, this is a new uh, background. Easy. 
nice. God damn, that one motherfucker gave like 5,000 uh, XP. Crazy. Crazy shit. Same time, it's kind of surprising that we can't one-shot him, though. I think I was talking about this last time. Um, unless you really level grind in each area, which you don't really need to. After the beginning of the game, you don't really one-shot enemies that much throughout the rest of the game. Alright, let's do the shit. Yeah, I'm kind of burning through Thotty's uh, PP, but we, we got some shit to restore PP. I'd rather just kill shit and level up quickly. So that way when we're out of PP, we can still kick some ass. Damn, he's gonna be level 70 by the time we're done this game. Probably beyond that. Uh, luck capsule, that's what we want for Fisto. Um, I forget what exactly that uh, does. Because I think Guts improves your rate of critical hit. Luck might just be, you know, everything else in the game. Maybe, I'm not sure. Talk to this asshole. Thanks for talking to me. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, buddy. I, I appreciate I appreciate that you appreciate it. Um, let's auto fight. Well, that's unfortunate. But, uh, they didn't lose too much health by the end of the level, the fight, whatever. Let's grab this shit. Ah, oh, nice, rock candy. Um, which... <laughs> what does that do again? Uh, increase... Oh, shit! Alright, so let's, uh, use it on Fisto. Hey, more speed. Which, go figure, that's what we want. This Fisto is a slow motherfucker. Bottle of dick's water. Good. I know about you, but I like I like my dick's water. Shit, there's two fucking uh, ladders. Damn. I wonder what that uh, that hole earlier on dropped me down to. I didn't really want to try it out because you know it's a one way. I guess we're getting good levels down here for minimal risk. Shit. And we're going one Mangala to heal up real quick. Uh... I might have been able to get away with just an alpha there, but yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah, I don't mind sticking around here for a little bit, a little bit longer. And I guess we can teleport down here, can't we? So if we need to teleport back to town, we should be able to. I've never really tried it. Any of the teleportation this whole playthrough has just been me trying to get from one town to another, but never to escape danger. Beautiful. Let's keep this shit up. Um, let's beat this shit out of this thing. Probably gonna be end up being the most complex dungeon we've been in so far, which makes sense as it's the latest one. But I couldn't even tell you what was the hardest one before this point, because every dungeon so far has been very easy. Nice, a couple life noodles. Yeah, we'll drop down this one. I just have to remember um, how. So we went north of the part, and there was another 
ladder at the end. All right, we'll drop down here. This is the Earth's belly button. Thank you. I love these, uh, yeah, these little tidbits of information. I appreciate it. A, l a luxury jerky. All right, tell me, tell me what luxury jerky is. I'm intrigued. If I can find it. A gourmet version of jerky that is considered delicacy. It's been created by an artisan who's been making jerky for over 60 years. Jerky fans consider this the caviar of our, all jerkies. I understand that they don't dry gourmet jerky on a laundry line. When eaten, you recover about 300 HP. Jesus, all right. Fucking, all right. That's cool. Use the porch, Duke. <laughs> What's up, Dirty? Uh, Darcy, how you doing today, dude? Uh, let's see. How much does this do? Alright, we'll uh, give this to Thotty. Wow, really? Only one? Fuck you, dude. Let's go back up here. See, now we're just in a completely different area now. That's what I did not want. Ah, now let's fight all these fuckers. Had a momentary dip into bad vibes. Snapped out of it. I gotcha. I mean, shit happens, dude. No worries. Just, uh, relax. Enjoy the weekend. You got any plans, bro? So, bro? And are you going to destroy, uh, Gigas? I'm gonna try. Um, I'm predicting that, like... We're on one of the last three streams of this. I'm not sure if I can beat this in two or even one. But uh I'll fucking I'll fucking try this shit. You work weekends? I got you, I got you. I got this weekend off, which is nice because this weekend was this week was long as shit. Long as shit for me. Wait a minute. Maybe uh oh wait, does this just rope around to where we were? I think it does. No for sure. Yep, okay. So we've uh, been everywhere so far. Is this that one hole in the beginning? So I need to try to check this shit. Be whenever feels right, not uh, and not stressful to you. No, I got you. No, that that can be an issue, honestly, where you feel like you're near the end of an RPG. So you play, and then you play, and then you play, and then you're like playing for fucking like six hours straight to the point where you're like fucking cranky. And you're like fuck. <laughs> it just end already, you piece of shit. It kind of spoils the uh, spoils the ending for you. It's like uh, chasing a mirage, you know? Uh, just fight normally. Yeah, these guys are kind of worthless, huh? I will just keep playing League of Legends before bed until I get victory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Ah, uh, no, you fucker. Come on. All right, we got first uh, attack there, and we're starting to kick their ass. Good, good, good. Seven losses later and four hours before you need to wake up. Yeah. Shit. There's the ending. Which, do we want to go back and try to, uh, find out what's down that one hole, now that we know how to get here? I mean, we could. Oh, damn. And we have fire mega shit. Okay, so we have even more fire to use. Yeah, I don't mind fire. Fire's not a bad, uh, bad ability at all. Damn. 320. Uh, ooh, that's a lot. M that's more than double. It's more than double the amount of PP for, uh, like maybe 50% more damage from Gamma. I don't know. I guess if I really need shit dead, that's good, but I don't want to save that one. Hey, we got a rabbit's foot. What does that do? 
Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks and increases your speed in a big way. Let's see what that does, though. I think the knight pendant... Ah, yeah, that would be a drop. Um, let's see if anyone else could use it. How are we doing on, uh, room? Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Okay, got it. Uh... And we can't, can we sell that talisman ribbon or no? Oh wait, we might be able to sell that real quick. Let's see if we can sell that real quick. Why didn't that guy get his ass kicked by the little like Goblet motherfuckers. Uh, let's see. Oh shit, look at all that money. Nice. Good, good. That's good. Okay. Is there anything else I would want to sell? Probably, yeah, probably the wet towel. I just want to get rid of some of this shit. Now you can fuck off, and now... Do we want to give anything else to... Uh... Alright, for, for now, let's, let's see like if um, Thotty or... Dump could make use of this thing. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It's like the shittiest part of older RPGs is uh, item management. Granted, it's not that bad here, but uh, some other ones, it's to the point where it's game breaking. No, yeah, that would drop that. That's worse than the rain pendant. Although it does boost speed a lot, which could be cool. And I don't think, no, no, Dump wouldn't be able to use it. Uh, let's give this to Dump for the time being. Oh god. Give this to Mengala. I mean, it could be like the Zoom Shoes in Mario RPG where it's just instant, instant awesome. Yeah, I don't know. Do I do I want speed that badly where I would want to sacrifice defense by like five to ten percent? That's a good question. I mean, I could try it. I could I could just try for like a battle. In fact, I think I'll do that. I'll try it for a battle. In Ness. Ness is the only one who would really benefit from the speed boost. We're gonna kick the shit out of these guys. And try to find out what's in that other hole. Isn't that weird how that's really all the differences between instant win and having to actually fight it is whether or not I get a uh, first hit on those fuckers. And I do like that, how sometimes it, it doesn't, like, uh... It didn't let that second one attack me as well, you know what I mean? Because the game feels these guys are hard enough on their own. Oh, fuck you, dude! God damn. Guys are assholes. Holy shit! <laughs> We're just gonna walk through them. Fuck them. Oh my god.
Honestly, I might want to after I check out what's in that uh that hidey hole. Uh, I might want to like go back to town and just uh, cause I'm already practically at the start of town at that point. I might as well heal just so I can go into this boss fight with full um full PP. Hey, shit! You can I can one shot those dudes if I get a uh, first hit. Crazy. I would not have called that. Hey, that's what I like to see. Dottie putting the team on her back. Which I guess Thotty is pretty used to. Considering she's a thought. Now let's kick these guys' asses. Anyway, yeah, long, uh, long week. One of the, the highlights was, um... Helping out one dude. An older gentleman. And clearly a retard. But, um... He was trying to access some website, right? And he used, he used a Macintosh. Or a Mac Pro. I don't know what the fuck they're calling. Like, a, a Mac fucking desktop. Do they call them Macintoshes still? And he was trying to access the website off of his uh, company's Wi-Fi through his uh, Safari browser. Like, he used Safari. He didn't even use fucking Chrome, right? Not for a million years. Well, what the fuck do they call the fucking uh, Apple, like, desktops now? A MacBook Pro is the fucking, um... MacBook Pro is the fucking laptop. They, they just call him an Apple. They just call him a straight up Apple. <laughs> okay, fine. An, an Apple desktop. There, there's there's got to be a different word for it though. All right, we'll call it an Apple desktop though. So anyway, like he was saying, like, oh yeah, it's got to be a problem with the fucking firewall that uh, we're providing. Is uh, IMAX? Is that what they're fucking called? I gotcha. IMAX. IMAX then. I think it's just a Mac, right? Okay, so he's using a Mac. I don't know, that sounds weird to me, but I think you're right. Oh shit, that's all that was? Oh, you fucker. So he's using a Mac, and only when he's on the company Wi-Fi he can't access it, but when he's on any other Wi-Fi, like a mobile hotspot, he's able to access this website. So he's like, oh, it's gotta be the fucking firewall you're providing. So I'm like busting my balls trying to figure out why it won't access. It can access any other website, just not this one. And I'm like fucking with the firewall rules in order to let this shit through and nothing changes and so then my co-worker's like have you tried a different browser i'm like god damn it because <laughs> i realized i'm a retard for not trying a different browser i try a different browser and it works just fine right like it, it works just fine on any other browser and then like his co-workers are able to access it because his co-workers aren't retards and like don't use apple products so then I'm like, hey, you know, I can keep working on this for you, because at that point it's been half an hour, but it's like, but, you know, you pay. Oh shit, that just does health. But like, you know, you'd be paying more because I'd be working on this shit for you more to figure out something that there's now workaround for. He's like, well, I just want this shit to work. You know, these, these workarounds are a pain in the ass. Referring to using Google Chrome. Uh, that's a workaround that's a pain in the ass. I'm like, all right, I'll keep trying. And I mean, I tried like checking for updates. I tried uh, opening a private browser. I tried uh, clearing out the fucking cache information. I tried turning off the fucking extensions. Dude, I'm like, I'm trying to explain like, dude, this is like some weird shit with just Apple, I don't know, like, you're gonna need to wait for an update to Safari next time Apple does something, because right now, yeah, something's weird, and I'm sorry it's not working for you, but I could, I could, you know, spend <laughs> hours digging through source code and trying to find out why this is, but even then, there might not be a solution. <laughs> exactly, self-defeating ideology, exactly. You know, like, I could spend, like, a million man-hours 
and a million dollars trying to fix, like, a small, small thing that's a minor inconvenience. But it, would it even be worth it at that point? <laughs> Source code, are you a Russian hacker? Nah, fancy lad. I'm just saying, though, like, there has to be a reason why it was doing that. But the reason why it was doing that would be so minute and you would have to dig so far fucking down that it just it just wouldn't be worth it it wouldn't be worth the time effort or money <laughs> i'm morbidly or too sick i can't learn yeah no so that like i i worked on this shit for an hour for him which means it's gonna cost him out the ass but i warned him i'm like dude and after after spending that hour i'm like <laughs> like there's nothing i can do about this <laughs> And then he's like, nah, and he's like calling up, I can hear him like calling up his other employees like, hey, can you guys access this? Oh shit, you can, alright. Hey, can you, ah, uh, fuck, you can do? I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's happening, but this is what's happening. <laughs> I'd love to fix your problem, but shit. Oh, man. God, people, <laughs> people are just ridiculous, man. Ah, uh, Jesus. Uh, I had issues on a browser where YouTube movies would not let me watch movies on the browser at all. It would say I didn't have permission to access what I paid for, that I could watch other things like my tablet, YouTube support were confused quite a bit. No, like, that's the thing, Fallen One, is it's like between operating systems, like, why, you know, the your end of the internet, like ISP, and then like the browser you're using, for example, the version of the browser you're using, any cookies and cache information, the uh, extensions and shit. You know, like there's, there's a million fucking things it could be, and sometimes it's just, it's not worth it. Not worth the effort to dig down. Like you could, oh shit, look at that. Restores 400 HP to everyone. Does Dump have that? Or no? But yeah, it's uh, diminishing return. There's a word for it, isn't it? Like, um, yeah, that's just, that's what it's called, right? Diminishing returns. Where like after you put enough effort into something, it just becomes pointless to proceed. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the reality. You know what I mean? Like you can't uh, snap your fingers and fix everything all the time. Like you could try. But, you know, sounds like something you couldn't fix. And it's probably some bit of modern HTML that just isn't gelling right with Safari. Like, you can't edit the page. Yeah, no, it's it's some minute fucking thing that would it would take decades. But anyway, when, when you're working on something like that, though, for like an hour, and it's like increasing in time... Oh, wait, wait, shit. You really do feel like you're losing your mind. <laughs> and, like, when you're done it, you're, like, just looking around. Like, holy shit, how much time has passed? <laughs> how did I even get into this? I have, like, go into, like, panic attack mode, you know? Uh, yeah, I went through everything on my PC to try to figure out what's going on, but the movies ran fine on my PS4 and tablet on YouTube. Two months of browser updates later, and Prom was gone. You named a character Dump? Yeah, his original name is Pooh. Yeah, so Dump's name is Pooh, normally. So I called him Dump, just to try to keep it keep it accurate, but also my own. Um, Jesus Christ, dude. No! Ah, we could have one-shot him if that one fucker just stayed away from me. You guys can just kill that spirit real quick. Nope. At least we get that free, uh, the free round in. God, there's like more shit as well, just throughout the entire week. Just like, oh, like, dude. That was like just the last thing, uh, Friday, you know what I mean? But, um, there's like just little, little, like, weird things the entire week. It's driving me crazy. It's one of those, uh, weeks. That's why I kind of canceled the, um, Discord, uh, 
community nights this week. Because, I mean, uh, Friday was the best day of the week, and that was the one where that shit happened, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it was like, um... It started rough, got more rough, and then, like, chilled out a bit, but even then was still like, Damn! <laughs> I need a fucking beer! <laughs> And so I did get some beer. There's a, uh, what? I, I was like, on my way home from work, I pulled in for gas in this one area. Which, I thought that it was like a Hardee's and a gas station, but it turns out there's like a Hardee's, uh, pizza, uh, I don't know, like Pizza Boy? I don't fucking know what the fucking restaurant's called. But some, some weird place I've never been to. It's like a Hardee's, Pizza Boy, gas station, liquor store, all in one. Like they're trying to fucking kill my ass. So when I went, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> so now I'm like... We're having fast food in the first time in like a long time, in like a six pack. But uh, yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend, so... Fuck it. God damn. Dude. Those conducting spirits suck so much cock, it's insane. I have Thotty like beating the shit out of Fisto. Oh no, come on! I might just want to use some side just to finish this shit. Cause he's, yeah, he's gonna do this shit while two of my dudes are confused and attacking myself. You guys can just end it real quick! Please? Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> that thing fucking sucks ass! Holy shit, I thought the... the crazy-ass spirits... But, you know, you have to fight those last, you know what I mean? Because they explode when they die. So, uh, what else are you gonna do? Okay, it's like... Oh, wow, that's only... 24? Really? Wow, what a fucking deal. Holy shit. Yeah, like, if you need a heal... God. What's the math on that? Like, three people with beta, you might as well just use Omega and heal everyone. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> it's a really good deal. It's a really fucking good deal. Kudos, game. I appreciate it. Oh, that ed Super Nintendo slowdown app. We'll get like one more. Hey. Hey, another free. Nice. That's what I like to see, dude. God damn. All right, so what uh so we're at level 70 with Fisto, which is crazy to me. 65 with Thotty, 64 for Mengala, 15 I am quite 60 yet with Dump. But Dump had like an anime moment where he like went away to train for <laughs> for a couple hours. Alright, so let's uh, do the shit. You finally got here. This is your seventh, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Take it, daddy. Oh, what the fuck? Electro Spectre. So what we got here? Um... Oh shit, I was going to try the rabbit's foot and completely forgot I was going to do that. Uh, let's try the tender corral. Try the monkey love. We're going to spy on this fucking thing. This is going to be like a test, uh, test run real quick. Um, yeah, let's snake bag, and we'll also see if he attacks with, uh, psychic or physical attack damage. 
Hey. Yeah, the tender crowd we can't really use. A monkey came along. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, it just puts him in gay baby jail for a turn. Fuck the monkey love. Ooh, alright. This is gonna drain my ass. Alright, so he doesn't have any, uh, exploitable, um, like, status ailments we could use. Um, let's see, we could try some psychic fisting. I want to save the bag of Dragonite, I feel like we can probably take this asshole. Yeah, just try that. Daddy, you try. What's the mega? Is that like a? Fuck, was that physical or psi? I don't even remember. Fuck, we'll use it anyway. And Mengala, try. Oh, I completely forgot the heavy... Oh my god, I could have been using that heavy bazooka. God damn it. Oh, I completely forgot. Let's see if we can counter Psy unit, this asshole. I don't think we can. We'll still try. And, uh... Brain Shock, Shield, Healing, Psy Magnet. Let's use this large bomb first, this super bomb. Protected by a psychic power shield. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh shit, it deflects, it's got a psychic power shield? Oh fuck. Well, that sucks. Um, well, if you can, like, life up everyone, that'd be great. If you can offense up everyone. You can multi power rocket this asshole. And, uh. Should destroy, yeah. Oh wait, no, wait, I thought that's, uh, okay, it did disappear. Got it. There we go. The neutralizer effects of, Oh shit, what an asshole. Shit. <laughs> wow, that sucks. All right, how about uh, just bash this asshole? Um, his psychic shit is down, but I still wanna see if we can boost. I don't know, I wonder if that negated my, um, my offense up, you know? It might've. Then dump can use. Yeah, just build another shield. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Shit, that was easy. Yeah, I mean, those multi ball rockets are pretty fucking overpowered. Honestly, I kind of feel bad buying them, you know? But I mean, the game lets you buy them, and the game gives you so much fucking money towards the end of the game. So much fucking money towards the end of the game. So I, there's really nothing to spend it on other than those rockets, so I don't fucking know. Hold up, let's kick it out. Let's kick the... Oh! They're running from me.
Okay, three is too much. Okay, we're gonna actually use that um heavy bazooka if we can. Okay, I forgot about that shit. I just want the uh the free experience, and honestly I thought we could finish this immediately. Another another level up. Here, leveling up like crazy. Wait, let's kick the shit. Let's kick the shit out of this guy. Good. Good, Anakin. Good. Now kill him. But master, it goes against the Jedi code. You were mad about your arm. It's only natural. <laughs> where, where the fuck am I? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, just zoning out. Flashing back to episode three, the Citizen Kane of the 2000s. Ooh, what is this? I'm Fisto. It's been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. Soon I'll be. What will happen to us? What's happening? It's like the intro to Final Fantasy VIII. I'll be waiting here. My thoughts are being written out on the wall. That is giving me a boner right now. Or are they? <laughs> All right. Oh, is this okay? This is the uh, next uh, spirit area. The giant thought wall. This is all a vision of his father holding him. My daddy taught me a few things too. The soundstone recorded the melody of Lumine Hall. Now, let's go down this hole. Freaky. Oh shit! Now we're in Dino World. This is where we uh. What's that bitch's name in Chrono Trigger? Shala? Am I am I remembering that correctly? What is this? What am I looking at? It's cool though. Yeah, dig this. This is nice. Hey, look, it's a funny dino. Where's, uh... Where's What's-His-Nuts, though? The, uh... <laughs> the Dungeon Man. I want to meet Dungeon Man again. He's a pretty cool character. He doesn't really do much, but I like him. I like the concept of Dungeon Man. Let's crawl into this hole. Wait, really? I don't know. It looks like a fucking small hut. Does it not? Oh shit! Wait, what? Should I check that out then? Or do I wait there? Oh god. Did I do good or bad? It's like a super bidet. The hot spring energizes you completely. It's the only good thing the French ever did, aside from like chopping a bunch of aristocrats into pieces, was inventing a bidet. I guess Napoleon was also pretty cool. And there's Count of Monte Cristo, that's a good book. Crepes are also pretty good. The French have a couple things going for them. I'm digging this music, too. Speaking of uh, the French, I listened to um, the album, uh, what's it called? Histoire de Melody Nelson, right? History of Melody Nelson. It's from like 1970, it's like a, uh, what, like a concept album? 
mean, I don't speak French, so, you know, it went over my head, but I think it's about, like, uh, lollies and shit. I don't know. But, um... Musically, especially the first track and the last track, pretty fucking interesting. Alright, let's fight this dinosaur. Hopefully we don't die immediately. wet no sore <laughs> It's a cute dinosaur, I like it. Holy shit! You guys are going hard! Vulnerable to fire. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Nice, alright. So even though they're giant, I thought they would be like a super boss and you're supposed to like avoid them, but no. You just, you just kick their asses. Oh, that's a big fucking sign. In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Alright, we get to take a shit right there. Oh look, it's uh, more of those little motherfuckers. You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Alright, Weinstein. Uh, do you feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. Red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. Hey, strange fellow. Uh, after an earthquake... Uh, he just says the same thing. It's worded slightly differently. The bird right here says strange word like hello and click beep 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 beep. Right, let's call mom. It's been a while. And then let us... Ah, uh, shit. Let's actually look at um, what we got. Can we have anything that we can get rid of? Oh, I was going to try out the uh, rabbit's foot on um, Ness. And what are we giving up by doing that? I think he just can't go to sleep? It absorbs the light of a flash attack. Okay, that- Oh, that's why he wasn't getting fucked up by the, uh... Electrified spirits, or whatever the fuck they were called. Well, that's really, really, really good then. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll try the rabbit's foot though. Well, if we're in an area where we have a bunch of those flashing motherfuckers, we should switch back. Um, shit. Wait, let's give this to, uh, Mingala. And we have to buy more of those, um, multi-bottle rockets. God, they're overpowered. And by using those, we're saving up on these bags of Dragonite. This brain food lunch, I think that just... Yeah, a bunch of PP, a bunch of health. I like it. Uh, Monkey's Love, I think we could comfortably get rid of. I don't think we'll miss that shit. Piggy Nose, I don't think we need. And I want to hold on to the Pencil Eraser and the Eraser Eraser, just... Because I don't know. Now we'll get rid of the eraser eraser. I don't know. Like, do you think we'll run into those more? Maybe. I guess we can just find another phone and give that shit back and just be grumpy for a little bit. All right. So, uh, monkey love. Piggy nose eraser eraser. All right. I, I really hope he comes over here. Oh, please tell me they made really tiny sprites of the delivery man. Please. Oh, god damn it, you fucker. Oh, god. Ah, oh, that's such bullshit. Come on, guys. You guys could put more effort into this game. Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, that would have been funny. Alright, let's uh, call mom, and then we'll call dad. Oh damn, here's 75 grand, you now have a quarter million. 
God damn, we're like one of those uh, assholes from California. You have those like, you know, those uh, YouTuber influencers who are like 19 to 22. They live in a fucking mansion and they make those like really, really douchey videos that for some reason people watch. They're like, yo, with this next video, I'm giving away three Rolexes. Uh, first, leave some comments down below saying why you think I'm the best ever. Well, why I am the best ever. Let's be fucking for real here. I don't know why I'm giving the Californians a New York accent. <laughs> In my mind, they're all douchebags. Fuck you guys. Ah, shit, we found a horn of life. All right, we're holding on to that one. God. <laughs> I think I missed this somehow. Somehow this motherfucker missed this. They're pretty, pretty fucking strong. Like, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, strong's not the right word. They're pretty um, meaty. There we go. Better word. It's heading north. I don't fucking know. Oh god! Thought he's gonna have no fucking. Yeah, because Dump does not have access to fire. Yeah, these fuckers can't even hit me. There we go. He's getting there. Dump's catching up. It's just taking him a while. Oh wait, this is where we're okay, okay. So there's north east and there's just kinda like north and to the west. Oh shit. This guy looks a little bit more intimidating, doesn't he? Oh shit! He's got a power shield. Okay, his, uh, we just powered through it. His shield's no more. Oh! He's a meaty motherfucker. Okay, yeah, that's good. Alright. Oh, wow, it only did seven damage to Mangala for some reason. I'm grateful. Oh, can you just kill him quick? Thank you. Holy shit. Let's, <laughs> let's heal up. God damn. That thing sucks dick. Holy shit. All right. Don't fuck with the uh, purple dinosaurs. Barney kicking my ass over here. What the fuck is that? All right, so there's north, east, straight up north, and then there's further this way. Oh wait, we were going to not fuck with those. Okay. Yeah, let's let's not <laughs> let's not fuck with those. Oh god, the Super Nintendo cannot handle this this much action. You guys smell really good. Who am I? I'm a tender. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? Going to open the door, and you get out of there right now. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, so from their perspective, everything else is caged off. We are in the cage, and they are outside of the cage. I guess yeah. It's all perspective. Thank you for the tender kraut. <laughs> it was stolen. The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. Nice. Why don't you see the talkative mystery rock? The rock really jabbers away. Even though I listened to the talkative mystery rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. 
Thank you for coming all the way to this primitive country. You must be tired. To stay, it'll run you 400 bucks. Oh, yeah, sure. Get some of our pee pee back. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just called mom. Who cares? Alright, so we talked to the two assholes up front. Let's talk to these guys. Let's play store. My friend Aigo loves this game, so <laughs> I help you. Oh, the ultimate bad. Fucking A. The holy frying pan. The shiny coin. Another horn of life. We only need one. Amethyst burger. Let's see what that mammoth burger is. So everyone can equip it, and it's the same thing, I guess, but because Fisto has the uh, speed thing, which I guess I wouldn't really want. Damn, that's a lot of money, huh? Oh no, that's different. Souvenir coin, diadem of kings. Oh yeah, because Dump can't equip it. Uh, thought he has the Saturn ribbon, which is probably awesome. There's a souvenir coin. Equipped his other defense and luck. Yes, uh, Saturn Ribbon is just for Thotty. Dump has unique shit. Mangala has some really good shit. We want that shiny coin. Why is this one better? Alright, so all those pretty much do the same thing always. Oh, wait a minute, so both Fisto... Huh. Both Fisto and Mengla, it seems, can equip the shiny coin. But for whatever reason, the shiny coin only helps Fisto, but not Mengla more? I don't get that at all, but whatever. Aw. Oh. <laughs> oh, my dog's such a cutie, oh my goodness. He just wakes up from a fucking nap and just looks at me. I don't know. Um, we're gonna try to equip back the Knight's Pendant. And I think I might just sell the Rabbit Foot. Oh wait, hold up, I'm having trouble navigating these shop menus. Yeah, we'll sell the Rabbit's Foot. It's not that fucking good. And we'll sell the lucky coin. Alright, let's first buy the holy frying pan. Do we have room for her? Yeah, we do. Nice. Buy your French frying pan. Yeah, fucking get that away from me. Let's get that ultimate bat. Now let's sell that big league bat. Cool. Alright. Uh, so we're looking very good with some new shit now. Alright, so this is normal, basic shit. Okay. Tenda, who liked to talk, came to the Lost Underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above. So he established a separate tribe. I hope we can be real friendly again someday. Yeah, it was a lot easier to live above. I bet, with all these fucking... Barney the Dinosaur motherfuckers. Uh, can I talk to this guy in the corner? You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a world... <laughs> world-wise tender. Had some struggling there. Uh, I was an exchange student who traveled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. My name is Igo Steak. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Should I loan you some money? <laughs> If you want to withdraw, I'll charge you a handling fee that's equal to the amount of their withdrawal. No. I don't think you've ever really gotten into bad trouble. 
the second person that's done that. The last few towns to like get to pay a 100% withdrawal fee, which is bullshit. Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage, the boss. We're the same tenda as those above ground. We seem different. Yeah, you know the tenda up there are shy and don't like to talk. Didn't you think that the tenda up above have some particularly beautiful women? They're still shy though. Why don't you see the talkative mystery rock? That rock really jabble, jabbers an awful lot. We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's why my, that's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. You finally came here, Fisto. Finally, you talked to me. Listen, Fisto, I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? You are the chosen one, really, motherfucker. Your destiny is not only yours, it's a destiny of the whole universe. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember a giant stepping on it? That is one of your sanctuary. It is a spot that gives you power and allows you to realize your, all your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots in the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. I'll tell you all of the power spots. One, giant step on it. Two, Lilliput Steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson. Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. Rainy Circle, found by Mengla in Winters. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Magnet Hill at the edge of the city in Forside. Trying to like, remember all these. Pink Cloud, which Dump knows. And Lumini Hole, where the Shining Lichen lives in the cave. In the last one, a new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. Listen to the melodies of all eight power spots. If you do not fail, you may upset Gygus' plans. Understood, Fisto? The time will come. The time when the destiny of you, the whole universe, will overlap. It is fast approaching. Yeah, you better believe it, dude. I'm aware. We're near the end over here. I'll save again. So it's to the southwest of here. If you don't understand how compasses work, that's down to the left. <laughs> we're gonna, so we're gonna like work uh, counterclockwise from the one area we passed up far to the north. I try to. Oh god, two of these fuckers, really? That's where we want to go. We'll kick the shit out of this fucker. Um, can you mirror that fucking thing, please? God, every time I use mirror, it, it bites me in the ass. Oh, I could turn into it. So wait, does this thing have any, like, uh, thing I can fuck with, though? Is he weak to fire? No, he has no weaknesses. Shit. All right, um, healing Omega Thotty. Bring that bitch back to life. There we go, Jesus, those things suck. Those things are way harder than the other dinosaurs. Fuck me, dude. I think it's like above this, yeah, because we went down and grabbed a uh, present. So, hey, look at that. There's the edge of the map here. Uh, sea pendant. Oh, God. Give me so many of these pendants. 
Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from fire, freeze, and flash. Holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna want that on Fisto. But that Night Pendant is also awesome. So, um... Let's think about whether we want that on Mingle or Thotty. Probably end up putting it on Thotty since she's kind of the uh, weakest in terms of defense and health. Yeah, that's freeze attacks. How often, like, really? How often do I get hit by a freeze attack? Never. Whereas fire, I mean, we just got hit by a couple fire attacks, so we are going to give that to Thotty. Because Thotty's also already protected against um, electric attacks, so she has the... Uh, Franklin pendant, Franklin badge, whatever. Alright, so you just gotta sell that when we get a chance. How are we on health? Not good. Nice. Alright, so now let's see if we can get through there. Beautiful. No purple dinosaurs, that's what we'd like to see. Purple dinosaurs kind of suck a lot of cock. I know half of you degenerates are now out searching for purple dinosaurs. <laughs> like that uh, 2010 E3 by Konami, where it's like, if you just tap XXXYYYXXXYYY, you will be sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that conference probably once a week. <laughs> oh, man. Back when E3 was great. Come on. Let's see what's up here, if anything. Hey, look at that. God, and we still need to get back to that one town so that way we can give the Horn of Life away and then get another bag of Dragonite. And we want Bisto to have that Guts Capsule. Alright. Oh shit, there's a tent outside. Holy shit, dude. Look at the balls on you. A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heart-trending. Heart-rending. There we are. Here trending I'm, <laughs> so I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Yeah. Pokey's kind of an asshole. Oh shit! A red bidet. Those are the best bidets. You think vampires utilize red bidets? Like, can he butt chug blood if you're a vampire? These are the questions I need answered in my life. Aw, oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, so does it refill my PP? No, it doesn't. All right, we might want to spend another 400, but uh, let's check out what's over here first. Do a little little sightseeing. Yeah, so we're going like right that way. So we're heading directly west. Look at all this, all these goodies we can grab. All right, so uh, who who was the Healy Heal? Was it you? What does this asshole even use with money? Why does he want my dollars? Oh shit, we paid the, uh, the broken trumpet. Defense shower? Can I use it infinitely? Increase the defense of all friends. It's most effective if you use this power multiple times to layer it. Nice! Okay, so it's like a Thotty's defense up, but free. Wow, that uh, makes Mengala a hell of a lot more useful. Holy shit, okay. 
I guess the broken harmonica is probably gonna be like a offense down, which once again I don't think works on bosses. So what's Mengla's job gonna be? He's gonna be spying, shield killing if uh, we need to, using heavy bazooka if there's a whole bunch of enemies, multi bile rocket uh, if we have it initially, and then uh, spamming defense shower. Okay, cool. I dig it. And we're gonna sell some shit too. Still have that magic truffle if we need it, but let's sell this rain pendant. No, 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 not buy. I don't want to fucking buy anything. God damn it. Dude, these menus always kick my ass. It reminds me of Pokemon where I'm like going through the dialogue of Nurse Joy over and over again like a retard. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. Um, let us... Talk to Dad again. Yeah, I know those, uh... Like, Saturday Night Live assholes are next level, like, shit libs, right? But... That one bit... By the Lonely Island... When they're, like... My girlfriend hands me my phone and she says it's my dad. So I take the phone and slam it on the ground. What do you think I am? Stupid? My dad's not a phone. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. That's like a really fucking funny line. <laughs> it's a really fucking clever joke. Some funny shit. That was a fucking long time ago, though. It's like 2010. <laughs> Throw it on the ground. No, that was, a, that was a funny one, man. There's some funny shit in that. Um... Fuck, do we go in that cave, or do we search for treasure? Fuck, I mean, there's, there's like all that treasure down there. Let's, uh... He said southwest, which is just to the west. You know what I mean? So I feel like this is probably just... Um... Quite partial to Mother Lover. <laughs> that was a good one. Alright, so this is a sneak peek of the weird shit we're gonna be seeing later, I guess. God, it sounds like the intro to the fucking, like, French National Anthem. Right? That is a French national anthem, yeah? Am I an idiot? <laughs> I think that is what it is. Alright, let's uh, beat the shit out of this asshole. To the best of our abilities. I'll just kill this fucker's shield, though. God damn it. Mangala, you have to use your shit quick! Otherwise, there's no point. Wow. Dude, the speed stat is all over the place. I don't understand how it works. You'd think Mengala has fast speed, therefore he moves first. No, it's all over the place. Completely fucking random. Ooh, alright. Alright, motherfucker. Ooh, double fucking critical. Hell yeah. Um, we're gonna heal up. Wow, <laughs> this fight suck. I mean, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting every dinosaur to hit like that, but no, it's only the purple ones. Holy shit. Dude, that 
life up uh, Omega. That shit's insanely good. Yeah, we're gonna try just getting rid of this shit hard. There we go. Something's gonna take out the shield. Wow! Dude! The Thunder's hit percentage is just non-existent. Didn't even kill his shield. Or maybe it did. Okay. Oh, no, it didn't. What the fuck? Wow. 7 damage, 8 damage, 200 damage, 100. What the fuck is this damage spread? It, 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 it didn't even take away his shield. It didn't even take away his shield. I just have to, like, power through it. It's gotta eat that fucking damage. Yep, Thaddy is going to die. Yes, that is good. I know, I know, I'm aware, I'm aware. Just let me fucking... Let me... Do this. Thank you. Fucking hell, dude. I don't want to give that brain food to uh, Dump, honestly. We're burning through his shit. Oh, man. Once again, we're in, like, one of the final areas of the game, so... I can't really be too, uh, too hard on it for going hard on my ass. There's a cloak of kings. Aw, oh, shit, look at this. Fucking dump is gonna be all sorts of decked out. I wonder if he has, like, gauntlets or some shit later on. Or, like, some super fighting gloves. I don't know, he's gotta have something, yeah? I mean, he's gotta have some weapon. Even if it's, you know, it's just something that, uh, boosts his, uh, you know, punching. Because he's, like, martial artist. Purple dinosaurs. Just let me walk in peace. Holy shit! I like I like these little like pit stops they're giving me. So what I don't get is how there's the red fountains or the red geysers. Oh shit! That fully fills up my pee pee. Nice. There's the red geysers which cure poison and paralysis. But like nothing down here poisons or paralyzes me. I, I don't I don't get the logic there. In case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Good, we can take a shit over here. Nice. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. There we go. Now let's call up mom. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, I'll put in another fucking hour here. But I, I think that this might be... I don't think this will be three total streams. I think it'll be, like, today and then tomorrow morning. And I think that's gonna be the end of the game. Because I, I feel like the, uh, the next... My Sanctuary location is in this fucking cave. use one of these. Uh, can you just get rid of the shield killer for me, please? Please, dude. Miss. 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 One hit. Two hits. Three hits. I don't know, it's all over the place. It didn't even, it didn't even fucking do anything with the shield! I like how if you get a critical hit on the uh, power shield, it's like you get half of a critical hit onto you. Fucking crazy. There we go. Kill it, kill it. Thank you. Holy 
Holy shit, those things suck. Um, let's check our levels again real quick after we heal up. Um, yeah, 72, 67, 66, 61. Thotty, Thotty and Mangala are pretty much converged. Oh shit, look at this. Oh wait, so what about that one area did I find? Maybe after I beat this area, maybe that other cave I passed up opens up. Speed capsule. Definitely want Fisto to have that. Oh wait, um, how how is dump speed compared to Fisto's? Oh oh, dump is fast as fuck. Then why the fuck doesn't he uh go first each time? We actually, Mangle is slow. Okay, I guess that's why. Maybe we want Mangle a little bit faster. We'll give it to Mangala. Might be able to move before the uh, boss or something. Alright, what happened if we go up here? Evil Elemental. What the fuck am I even looking at? Oh, okay. It's fucking dead. I'd like to spy on it next time so I know what it is and what it does. Uh, weak to fire? Okay, you wouldn't think that. And flash and hypnosis. Oh, fuck! Am I able to cure that? I don't think I am. I think I have to go to a doctor to cure that, which, yeah, that's not happening now. Oh, God. Jesus. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. I can't walk through the fire. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What the fuck? Oh, you can f fucking climb that shit fast enough. Oh, God. My entire party's gonna be possessed. Which I, I don't even know what that means. We did pass out that uh, area right at the bottom there. Oh, what the fuck am I looking at here? Soul consuming flame and major psychic psycho. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Oh wait, does the possession mean like I'm fighting two extra enemies that I can't attack? They're just like doing fucked up shit to me? I, th I think that's what that means. Yeah, it, they just kind of like chip away and annoy me, but I can't really do anything to them. Freeze, okay. I don't really want to use uh, the pee-pee down here. 
I want to save my people for the boss if I can help it. Oh wow, this place looks fucked up. Okay. Wait, come on. Wait, what? Wait, what? Did, what just happened? Oh no. Wait a minute. There we are. Holy shit. I'm almost getting stuck on the fucking geometry here. Oh, another bag of Dragonite? Really? That shit's like insanely good though. I guess for the final boss, I can just have like each, like all four of my party members all become dragons and just beat the living shit out of them. This is probably one of my favorite uh, soundtracks for fights. Got a nice bass line. Hey, that's what I like to see. Nice, nice, easy battle. Yeah, I guess um, there are worse things than having the uh, possession, honestly. Nice. Uh, let's just... Oh my god, look how many there are. Wait, what? I was facing... I was looking at him. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Still drinking my uh, my coconut juice, my buy coconut juice. It'll make you into everything. Nah, no, it's good shit. I like it. And it's only five calories. I <laughs> know it's ten calories. Fuck. Not tasty shit. Oh come on, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of half grinding here, but I mean, I do, I would like to become uh, stronger, and these fights are easy enough where I'm getting a good amount of experience, while not necessarily have, and also they'll like just attack my ass as I'm, like whoever's the last party member down the rope anyway. We'll just uh, do it this way. Honestly, thought he does a shocking amount of damage. More than Mengele and Dump. I oh, don't know, I haven't really been looking at uh, Dump's. Uh, Dump has some decent damage output. This game does a good job at not, uh. Sticking to like really, really d generic character archetypes, instead opting for weird shit. And I like I like weird shit in my JRPGs. I I've played enough JRPGs where it it it's nice seeing the weird archetypes. It's one of the reasons when playing uh, Fantasy Star 2, I liked. Um, Was it Kane and Hugh? Right? Those were two uh, pretty cool characters. Especially a mech wizard and a bio wizard. It was interesting. Yeah, just kick the shit out of him. Alright, if you can, uh. You look at the 8, 167, 9, 
114. Oh, I think that's uh, probably because of the uh, pendants they have, actually. Because Mengele has a fire pendant, Fistos does a little bit of everything, and Thadi... Her pendant blocks uh, flashing, I think. We're gonna use another uh, psychic heal. I don't think we really needed to, but I wanted to. Oh shit, the, uh, possession went away. Okay, good. Damn, I thought they, uh, would suck a lot more. Honestly, I think the, um, the mushroom sucks a lot more, and that's one of the first status ailments you find in the game. Go figures, it's one of the worst. And once again, this game has overall weird pacing. It's goofy though, it's a goofy game. There we are, let's see what's in here. A cherub's band. Was it like cherubs or the fucking naked baby motherfuckers? Like now? Now they're the naked baby motherfuckers, but if you ever read the Old Testament, they're like fucking giant archangels with fire swords. <laughs> that are like passive you damn motherfucker. <laughs> Must be equipped on your arm. It increases defense. Helps you from being hypnotized. Also increases your luck. Uh, but what about the pixies bracelet? Oh, it's the same shit. Is it better or worse, though? Um, it's better, but the Pixie's bracelet could probably be passed on to... I guess Thotty. Uh, I don't know, I think, I think uh, hooking Thotty up will pay off a lot more than hooking up uh, Mangala. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And now we can sell that other one. Um, can can we get some other fuckers in here? Hey, wow, he can. He just can't get it uh, outside where everyone's small. All right, so what do we want to sell then? Diamond band. Damn. It's like some of the most expensive gear in the game. I mean, I guess uh, Final Fantasy also does the same shit with the diamond armor. Oh shit, I never looked at what um, Mammoth Burger does. Alright, let's uh, use that on Thotty. Good. And let's remember the... Uh, Luxury jerky. Cool. Cool is good. Oh, come on. Aw, oh, fuck you. The crazy ass circle on my ass. Damn, this motherfucker takes a lot of damage. Either that or I'm just dishing out a lot of damage. Oh, God damn it! We've been out there for a while. Uh, we at Nintendo are really concerned for you. Have you been outside today, motherfucker? Make sure you're doing your homework. We at Nintendo live for you. We'll die for you. Ah, uh, let's see here. Oh, Layla, what are you doing, girl? Damn, 
Scotty is just getting fucked up. Seriously, holy shit. Kicking my ass. Yeah, let's give her the uh, luxury jerky. That's why we have it. Oh god, you didn't see the other one climb down the rope. Oh god. Here we go. That is now the funny number. Good. Oh shit, three of them now? Damn, alright. I oh, know only two of them. Yeah, spread the damage. <laughs> Fantasy star style, I love it. No! Ah, oh, you fucker. Can I one shot him? Maybe? No? Fuck. Yeah, I think those just have really, really low defense, it seems. Alright, level 68. Damn, this is only this. Uh, aside from like those 8-bit RPGs, this is one of those few JRPGs where it, it feels like you actually get pretty close to level max by the time it's done. Yeah, shit, Fisto might be get to level 80 by the time this is done. Maybe. Holy shit. Yeah, this seems like a pretty intensive uh, dungeon. There's those other areas earlier on uh, where it went, you know, up the rope and then to the left, but we went to the right instead. I want to go back before we get into deep. Maybe, I don't know. Well, there's the ending. A moonbeam gun, shit. Alright. Uh, let's give that shit to uh, Mingla after we check it out. Let's see how good this shit is. I think the death ray <laughs> it would be the best, but no. Um, actually, let's sell that shit. Yeah, this pure chaos right now. Holy shit. Um, here we're gonna sell that death ray. Yeah, we've just been, like, maintaining enough money to go through shop to shop to shop. just from selling shit as we find it. Okay. Okay, I think this is, this is where we're supposed to be. That's that's the end right there. Alright. So we know how to get to the end. Let's check out those other directions to see if we, uh... God damn, four of them? Really? Let's see if we can get some extra goodies. Beautiful. Why did I only attack one of them? 
Hi, Layla. What do you want, girl? What do you want? Oh, she's a good girl. I know. Probably after the stream, I'll uh, take her out. Hit the gym. And then my car's kind of running like shit, but I picked up a, uh, what, a can of, uh, sea foam is what, what the shit's called. I know, apparently people swear by it. I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. God, really? How many of these fuckers are there? <laughs> yeah, so that's all they do. They just like kind of annoy you in battle. This may be earlier in the game. They probably did more damage per. But I didn't even understand what they did because I just rushed right to the hospital to get rid of it. They do seem to eventually go away on their own. Oh, sometimes they solidify for a turn. Okay, shit. Look at that. I guess that's kind of, that's more shitty than the uh, one damage. And one of your characters misses a turn. Alright, so he's burning. He's burning the uh, ghosts for me. So that's how they get rid of you. Just uh, have like full party, uh, like splash damage, area effect, whatever, attacks, and it kills them for you. I like that. Okay. Check up and to the left. Check out to the left first. Good, 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 good. Oh, nice. Alright, well, shit. I'll take it. It does help. Now we have to fight these guys again. And we're now starting to one-shot these fuckers. Taking out this asshole first, because the other guy's kind of a pushover. Because these guys will use fire, like beta, gamma, alpha, all that shit. Good, good, good. Here we are, hitting level 75. Yeah, I can, I can envision getting five more uh, levels. We got Fist and Omega. Another horn of life, good. Good, good, good. Vives a friend who's unconscious, cures everything. Yeah, we're gonna wanna, after this, I guess he goes straight to that cave we passed up into the end of the game, so let's, uh, I guess warp back to the previous town just to get another bag of Dragonite and probably the best bat in the game. Seems like a good time to me.
Beautiful. All right, keep on trucking on. But yeah, I might do a stream this afternoon. I don't know. Uh, it, it depends. Wow, long the gym and seeing if I can <laughs> get my fucking car running. My car's running, but like <laughs> when it, when I'm at like a red light or a stop sign for uh, like 10 Mississippi. It'll start being like, duh, 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 like, it, uh, it doesn't sound good. I called up my uh, local mechanic. He's like, ah, we're all booked up for just putting some fucking sea foam in there. Go out and buy a can of that shit. I'm like, all right, asshole. Like, do you want my money or not, though, motherfucker? I like my mechanic, nice guy, but it's just like half the time. I swear to God, it's like they don't want more business. <laughs> So I might have to start going to this other place, which sucks. I guess you know, once again, I like I like the uh, service of my uh, one mechanic. They do a good job, but I don't know, man. If I absolutely need help with that shit, I'm just gonna like put my ass on waiting. Can't really have that happen. <laughs> That's so bad if I do get this shit fixed, it's uh, not too pricey, because I, I am kind of like saving up for a fucking car in a couple months. Once again, just, you know, the higher of a pay down payment I can put on that shit, the less I'll be getting fucked in the ass on monthlies. I just want to really just save up for a good down payment. Yeah, and I just want something slightly used. Good gas mileage, I don't really give a shit beyond that too much. Um, let's continue on this way, and we're at the end here. Gotta kick these assholes. Can I just one shot it, please? God damn, dude. <laughs> killing me why was I able to run one shot of the others I'm like right on the edge of being able to one shot all these fuckers but get a couple more levels to do so Come on, come on, motherfucker. What are you even doing? <laughs> Just warping into the walls. Alright, asshole. Alright, let's keep this shit up. Hey, alright, let's kill this last one. Then we'll check our levels, heal up, and uh, kick this ass. And get the final... What's it called? Sanctuary point? Something like that. Alright, let's see here. So we're at level 75, 71, 70, 66. They're, they're kind of converging. They're all within... 10 levels of each other. Well, 9. All within 9 levels of each other. All right, let's uh, let's beat the shit out of this thing. You finally got here. This is the eighth year sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Oh, nice. We have was it a oh, carbon dog? I thought it said cat dog. I'm like Nickelodeon is gonna retroactively sue somebody. Um, so we have Psy Fiston. Heal up, shield up, hypnosis, paralysis, all that shit. 
bags of Dragonite, which we could use if we wanted to kick the living shit out of this thing. Now, I want to I want to save the Dragonite. It's just I don't know. Like the Dragonite's so powerful that it just you don't even really want to use it. You don't even really need to use it. Yeah, you know, use your Cyphus and fuck it. I want to see what that looks like. Offense up. Or defense up, I should say. Um, we also have that, uh, that other defense up. Okay. And throw that snake bag on him. Oh, he didn't poison him. What a fucker. Oh, no weaknesses, really. I think he'd be weak to ice or something. What else do we get? Let's save up some light, uh, some life up for him. In the meantime, you can just beat the shit out of him. Oh, wait, no, it's offense up. I don't fucking know. I'm just having a moment here. I kind of want to see what he does before I throw up a shield, whether it's more offensive or defensive or what. Throw another snake at him. Is he really not going to get poisoned? There we go. That was the first time all game that the uh, snake didn't poison the first time. Alright, so it's fire. And does that count as psychic? I don't even know. Didn't say sigh in front of it though. Let's use uh, let's use dump shit. I already forget how many times I use this, but uh, we'll use it one more time. Another of those. What else can we use? Heal brain shock, healing life up. Psy star storm. Yeah, fuck it. I think that was three of each. I think that's uh, the most we can get through that. Oh, fuck. Rainbow colors? What? The fuck is that about? Diamond dog. Okay. What the fuck ever? <laughs> um, we could use... Um... Yeah... Fuck it, go hard with it, dude. Spy on him, see if anything changed. Let's use this star storm. Boris light. Ah, oh, shit. Um, okay, well. Let's just keep bashing. Let's use another freeze. Uh, he cannot do shit, so let's just do nothing. Or I, don't know, I might be able to steal something actually if I spy on him, so let's use that. Um, fuck, I don't even remember. Which one does paralysis? And I'm just gonna guess that helps it. Might have been overkill. We might have gotten away with the beta if we did. 
Oh shit, he's got a power shield. Look at you. Oh, look at look at that shit. Now let's hold off on that a little bit longer. How about thunder? So I thunder him. He's a multi ball rocket. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> let's say uh ah uh, we could also use a um. Yeah, let's do that one. Might be able to like, destroy his shield. Ooh, Mangala's going to die. All right, if you could just like uh, do that real quick. Wait, what? No, no, not enough PP. No, what do you mean not enough PP? Oh God, I wasted too much time because I was trying to rush through that shit. Oh god. Oh no, he's still alive. Holy shit. Um, alright. Alright, well, uh, shit. Fister should still use that healing on him. Do I have anything else I could use? Use the heavy bazooka. Doesn't really. Uh, no, nah, just, just fucking attack him normally. What's I gonna do with dump? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. Fuck. Uh. Well, Fisto is gonna cure Mingala, which is nice. Guess we could use another Star Storm. Fuck it. Let's use another Star Storm. Hey, look at that. Seventy six, beautiful. Seventy two. All right, all right. Let's keep on keeping on. I still had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Mr. Soundstone recorded the melody of the fire spring. Cool. So now what? Just like the flashbacks in Final Fantasy VIII. Final Fantasy VIII's a ripoff of Earthbound. Those fucking lying hex. He's gonna light a bag of dog shit on fire on his own porch. It's a hell of a way to use time travel, I know.
Fisto. Hmm. I think Fisto is the right name for him. Fisto. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Who the fuck names a baby, like, after they've been born? Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. It's too big, but looks good on him. I hope Nigel won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some milkies. <laughs> His baby loves milkies. The baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. Psychic demon baby. Ah, shit. I think this is Magic Hand. I did play enough of the first game to get to this point. On the first game, you get to Magic Hand pretty much immediately, which is kind of weird. This is the realm of Magic Hand, which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Fisto. Oh. Can you turn it back, buddy? You just made me have a bad trip. And it was a quiet, small town, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah, it was. Bisto, you've stood on the eight power spots of the Earth. From these, you've created Magicant, the realm of your mind. In Magicant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. You sick fuck. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of all those things. It takes you to the truth about yourself. the sun. Come on in the magic camp. Oh shit, it's this uh, weird ass dude. He's taking a shit in my mind bush. Fisto, maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Fisto. Oh, oof, all right. Goodbye. So long, buddy. Brother Fisto, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magicant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything I can do for you? I, I guess. What do you want me to do? Um, I mean, I guess we don't really need any of this shit. We're fine. Talk to Nigel. I lived in your house before you were born. Fisto used to be small and weak. Dog just talking shit. I like the idea that, like, you know, dogs, like, vocal cords, you know, rise high enough in their fucking throat, they're able to speak, and then they use that power to talk shit on everyone. Oh, Fisto, you are tired, or are you tired from your traveling on your adventure? Yes, if you wish, you can stay here forever. I'll make some milkies for you. Yes. Good. Mommy's milkies. The best way to start any day. Alright, let's uh, check this shit out. Look at the checkerboard pattern, kind of reminds me of uh, Kirby's Dream Course. Which we'll be playing at some point, we'll get around to it, I have a thumbnail done for it. Fisto, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? Uh, 2 o'clock? <laughs> Alright. Look at the sun, face the sun and smile. The sun. I'll tell you what, in the NES version, or the NES version, the NES game, the original Mother, Magicant sucked ass, dude. I was stuck there for a while. That game just sucks in general, I'm sorry. Uh, fuck, fuck Mother 1. I gotta give, gotta give credit where credit is due. This uh, game improved the series quite a bit. Alright, let's uh, check out this building. Hi, this shop specializes in puddings and pendants. Yes, give me that pudding, daddy. Magic pudding and earth pendant. Well, I don't have anything to. I don't know. Can I get a get rid of anything? Um, I could put the horn of life away. I think we have another one. 
one of my uh, homies. And then we can put the magic truffle away. That's what we'll do. Alright. So I can buy each of those. Do I have the money? Do I even have the money for it? I might? Maybe? Uh, let's see. Let's get Horn of Life away. That might be good, because I might be uh, tempted to use it, but I want to get that all those cool ass items from that one town. Um, they had magic truffle. Cool. I guess we should check out the other building just in case that's also a shop. I don't know, maybe it's not. Oh shit, there's an ATM machine here. Nice. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. Yep. Shop here. Yeah, we have plenty of money. Okay, uh, we'll buy the Earth Pendant. No, I want to see what the fuck it does. Let's check this shit out real quick. Must be equipped on your body. Protects you from fire, freeze, and flash. Well, so does that one, isn't it? Fire, freeze, and flesh. I guess I can give that to the other uh, character, yeah. I think uh, Mangala does not have something like that. I don't know, maybe they do. Magic pudding recovers about 40 PP. So this is the same goddamn thing as the uh, magic travel, essentially. Oh, it's fucking worse than the sea pendant. Okay. Um, it still might be beneficial on, uh, what's his nuts, though, so we'll hold on to it. And I think I might end it here. I know, it's like, uh, we're right at, like, practically a finale, but, uh, next, tomorrow morning we can just finish this game. Let's call that. Oh yeah, we have more than a quarter million in the bank. We're fucking awesome. Yeah, record that shit. All right. So next time we'll figure out uh, what the fuck we're doing here, why we're in Magicant, why we're in our mind, and how that connects to Gygus at all. I guess we must conquer ourselves before we conquer the galaxy, destroying douchebag. Ah. All right, yeah, and I need to I need to stretch my legs, walk my dog, go uh go to the gym, all that good stuff. But um, good game, very fucking good game. And once again, good uh, console, the Super Nintendo Classic. If you guys can find this shit, used, I'm assuming used is the only way to find it now. Go for it, pick it up. And thanks everyone for uh, dropping in on us. Uh, much much appreciated. Remember to hit up the YouTube if um, any lurkers are in here. That's where all of my past streams go. Join the Discord. That's where we share shit, watch shit, hang out, play games. All that good stuff. And I'll either be playing Tekken in like four hours from now. Or even more from now, we'll be playing uh, Neo tonight. Anyway, thanks again and peace out, people.